Okay, so the next option I'm going to show from the half going butt slide to achieve the pass is actually the step to mount. Uh, I've used this in a few of my recent matches and I'm finding it very, very effective in training. Uh, there's a few key details I use to try to create this pass, so I'll, I'll try and condense it a little bit down for you now. So I'm in the half guard, one butterfly scenario, and I'm trying to attack this arm or try to get the underhook. What I'm actually going to try and do is I'm going to try and go from the wrist control, or if I'm pinning or winning this battle, I'm going to start going up to the head and I'm going to try to achieve my uh, kill grip behind the back. So I'm going to try and go from here into this crush position. Now, most of the time when you're in the crush position, the person on bottom obviously will not allow you to, and they'll start trying to turn onto their side or use their butterfly hook to start elevating to create space. So, what I actually do is when I get this crush position, I'm holding like this, as my partner starts to turn on his side a little bit and starts pushing with his butterfly hook, is I actually keep my, uh, my arm around the head strong, I like get hold of the lat, the head, the neck, anything to keep my body weight in the head. Then I take the hand as underhook in and I actually bring this hand all the way back to the hip, hand on, and I actually take my elbow inside the knee line. And this is actually the crucial grip. When I get this little pin on the hip, when he starts to extend his butterfly hook, what it allows me to do is step up and over, because I've got to get, if I get elbow to knee connection, I know I'll get over his knee. When I'm in a half of one butterfly like this, I try to achieve my crush, so this could be from any type of position where we're hand fighting. I get into the crush and my partner starts to try to use the elevator to move me off to the side and get onto his side. I use the hands under hooking and I drag it back so my elbow's on the inside of the groin. Now I know that if my elbow and knee get into connection, I will clear his knee. So I keep hold with my crushing arm to make sure that my weight is transferring into him at all times. When he starts to try the elevator, or on my terms, I simply extend with my, extend with my elbow, extend with the arm that's inside, and I start sliding my knee up his shin. So what's key is I'm not trying to step over. This is what's key, I'm not trying to step up and over. What I'm trying to do is that as he pushes, I'm trying to slide up his leg to my elbow. Then achieve the mount. So I'll actually spin it one more time because I'm gonna show the detail on the leg that's maintaining mount. Otherwise you will just get put back in the half guard. So I'm in this scenario, crush, he turns, control, elbow in as he starts the elevator. As this leg is sliding up now to go to the mount, what is key is this leg, my leg that's not stepped to mount yet. If I just crush from here, he will use this opportunity to see the push this leg back in the half guard. So what I do to avoid that position is I bring my, my knee in, not my foot. I don't try to squeeze with my foot. I try to bring my knee into the hip so that when I step to mount and I turn him back flat, if he tries to go for the half guard, see he won't be able to get my knee back. Then I slide my foot under to achieve the mount. Okay, so that's from all three scenarios, head on and side to side. Uh, a few deals on each part. Uh, I will do a few more uh, videos on the grip fighting itself, but for now guys, that's the step to mount from the half of one butterfly.